Hello and welcome back to Gale Bears Repairs. Today's video is a follow on from the previous one with the split boost pipe on the turbo. And this video is about what effect that had on the engine. It's caused soot to build up in the EGR valve and in the throttle body. So, and an actual failure of the car where it didn't start. So we'll get into the video now and see how we get on. Okay, so the cold readers connected up down there. So we'll have ignition on. And this is the fault that I've got. So we try to start the car. Doesn't want to start. I can apply the throttle and it makes no difference. Engine management light is now on. So we've got the engine management light, so I'll now connect up the iPad and we'll read the codes. Okay, so I've got my tablet connected up. So I now go to the dash command app that I use. It's now connecting to the vehicle. It's now saying connected, look. So it's sensed the uh, thing. Oh, now we've got some flashy lights. That's exciting. So flashy lights means good. So we'll go on to uh, diagnostics there and see what codes we've got stored. Yes, there is one uh, one stored code. So we'll click on that. And it's coming up with a P0488. So that's the exhaust gas recirculation. So we've got an EGR fault. So I need to pop the bonnet now, find the EGR, have a visual inspection, make sure there's no cables uh, adrift or anything. And I'm guessing we'll have to take the EGR off and give it a clean out if it's covered in soot. That's a normal thing with the EGR. All right, let's have a look. Let's see what we got here. Oh, and there's our EGR staring at us there on the inlet. So uh, I'll bring you in. There he is there. So this is our EGR valve. There's the stainless pipe comes from the exhaust. So we're probably going to be um, exhaust sut contained within there. So we'll remove the EGR and then we'll give it a clean out. Okay, we're looking at it. It looks like I've got to take this pipe off here, which is held on with that bolt and that bolt that to remove that pipe. There's an electrical connector there. I've got to remove and then there's a spring clamp here that one around the around the boost pipe around the inlet pipe it appears to be there on this side I'll get the light on this side it appears to be a vacuum pipe there and I think the whole throttle body is just held on with three three Torx bits there. There's one there. There looks to be one around the back that looks to be difficult to get to. And there's one, one there as well. So there's three of them by the look of it. And we'll try and get this EGR assembly out and see whether it's coked up and needs a clean. I've done a visual on the cables and the pipes. Everything appears to be okay. So that's why I'm going ahead and removing the EGR. All right, let's start off with the uh, this pipe there. Let's get rid of that. So there's that pipe. D 
disconnected from the EGR. Then there's the electrical connector there. Pressure in the tab. The pole. Oh, that went easy. They don't normally go that easily. It's a bonus, so that's out of the way. And then there's a spring clip there. You can see it moving. That goes around the boost pipe, the inlet pipe. So I'll um, try and get that out. Put a screwdriver in it. Pull him. There he goes. So there it is. It's just like a spring clip that goes around. So that should allow that boost pipe to drop now. Yeah, so the pipe just pulls out of there, look. Very basic. So this is exposing it gradually. So we've got that pipe now, the boost pipe around the other side. Ugh. No, I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> I'll take you around the other side. I'll show you the little, um, the little vacuum pipe we've got to disconnect. I'll just move the light. There, that's better. So there's the vacuum pipe. Very basic. Lit pushes on that. So that's that disconnected. That's really basic to do. So now I've got a feeling we've just got to disconnect the three holding bolts that hold it to the to the inlet manifold. I think they're torx bits. So I'll have a little faff around, a bit of jiggery poo, we see what we can do. Right, just trying to start to undo the three securing bolts that holds the assembly to the inlet manifold. And um, the one around the back is longer than the others and he passes through the throttle body. I've just seen, and as you can just see there, it's my socket. My socket is there, my Torx bit is there. That's around the back and that's a long bolt that passes through the throttle body there and up through up through the EGR so these are short bolts here a standard bolt as you can see there and there's a long one that passed through the two at the back it's a bit of a struggle a bit of a faff when I've got it out on the bench I'll show you and it'll become more apparent what I'm talking about that's that back bolt I'm talking about there that holds the Okay, he passes through the throttle body and the EGR, so he's a big long one. So be aware of that, that's a bit of a struggle. Um, all I used to get that, in some funny angles, was just a normal ratchet and a Torx bit, nothing special. Okay, the problem I'm finding here is to get that, is to get that one off the two that holds the, uh, the EGR in place, is this flange is in the way. I can't get my socket on there. So I'm actually gonna to have to separate here. And I've already done the long bolt at the back. Now it's just this one at the front. There's only two on here by the look of it. So I'm gonna separate, I think it's the throttle body, away from the EGR first, in order to get that pipe down out of the way so I can remove it. I'll drop that one. <laughs> That's that one gone forever. So I'm guessing I can remove this now. There was actually a third bolt holding the um, the throttle body on. So there it is. It was there. You can see I found another bolt in there. So there are three bolts securing that. He's quite coked up in there. He's actually, uh, yeah, he's quite a lot of soot in there. We'll have a look at that closer on the bench. That will need to clear out. So now, I think I can get this pipe further out and get onto that. Get onto that one. So there's my socket on that last bolt in there. I don't know who it was. Where is it? Oh, boring. I'll get back to you.
Well, I've retrieved my socket. Let's get on with that again. So it's now that last bolt there. In there. It's that last bolt here that secures the uh, EGR in place. I did have to just give that a little tweak, the, um, the, pipe, the pipe there comes from the exhaust. I did have to give them a little bend out of the way. Hooray. So here's our EGR. Oh yes. Look at that sut in there. That's our problem. So that plunger, that plunger there is unable to move because of the salt, uh, the salt, <laughs> because of the soot. So that's our problem. So we, the exhaust gas comes up through there and that should be moving up and down. I'll get all the stuff, I'll put it on the bench. We'll have a look at it all. And then I'll show you how to clean it all up and get it operating. Okay, so here's our offending item. This is the EGR valve. Look, it's completely full of soot. This is the problem. Now this should open here, but obviously it's caked up with soot. So there's a port there. Um, I don't know if you can see, and it opens up. So this plunger, it should open. There you can hear to allow the exhaust gases in to the inlet. So all of this soot has to come out. Best way to get this off, give it a scrape. It's all carbon. It's not going to come off easy. There's a lot of it there. Yeah, so it's all got to be scraped out. It's a right mess. Um, so that's the EGR valve. That's the actual one that's come up with the fault code. But while we're here, we've got the uh, butterfly valve there. And this one's motorized. He's got a motor in there. So he's the electrical item that we unplugged earlier. So we'll clean that out as well. So here's the plunger that we've actually got to get the carbon off mainly. This is the actual bit that's going to prevent operation. So clearing out the rest of the this is just allowing maximum airflow through on the inlet. But the actual thing that we need to clean up is this plunger here. We also need to clean around here. This is where that stainless steel pipe bolts on. So we have to ensure that we've got a good jointing surface there. Next we'll do the um, inlet here. It's not as much on here, there's a lot less. And it's not as, uh, it's not as caked on. There's a rubber joint there. You have to make sure that that's there when we refit it. But just look at the carbon. So that's carbon, that's our contaminant is on the EGR. That's exactly what we don't want. I'm about to start cleaning. All I use at home is a uh, roller tray for painting, some brake cleaner, and don't tell the wife, the kitchen roll. So I'll get on with cleaning it now. In there we're interested in that plunger. This brake cleaner will dissolve it. I'll 
I'll cut back when I'm done because the camera's in the way of where I want to stand. All right, so that's as far as I'm going to go cleaning this. That plunger is nice and clean. Bit of dishes pad, that's all you want. Bit of green pad in there and a uh, brake cleaner. Bit of brake cleaner. Some of the wife's kitchen roll. And I'll show you the operation of the plunger. There it should be. So there, there's the plunger that the exhaust comes into. And that's sealed, that's seated. And then the plunger should operate there. And it just opens that orifice, allowing all exhaust gases to recirculate through. So that was my problem. The carbon buildup on that shaft there was not allowing the plunger in. So that's how it should operate. And that's what's brought up the fault code. Well, I'll clean the throttle body now. I won't bore you with that. And the next time we'll uh, see each other is when I'm putting it back together. All right, here's the assembly all cleaned up. It took me about a half hour to clean it all up. And this is the clip that the main turbo hose, the one from the intercooler clips on that we got out. And we just pulled that out with a screwdriver. So that's where that goes in there. It slots into there, look, into, into that recess there. So it springs into that, that groove. And it's there that it clips the pipe, holds the pipe in place. Uh, when I was taking it apart, I did say that there was a long bolt that went right through. There it is. So you can see it there. It goes right through both assemblies. It goes through the throttle body and it goes through the EGR. So that one caught me out early on. So he's really long, look. And then it's just, there's a Torx bit in behind that sent the plug there, the wires for the motor. So there's one stashed away in there. These are little Torx bits, little Torx heads, another one there. So that's what holds that, that holds the throttle body to the EGR assembly. And then the EGR, look, that's the two bolts there. These two hold, hold that stainless pipe that comes from the exhaust on. That's what they're attached to. And then we've got these other two Torx there that hold on the EGR to the actual inlet manifold. So there's the two torques there. And then that other one that passes through both assemblies. So you end up, you end up with three bolts securing it to the inlet manifold. That's about it. So when refitting, you want to make sure that that plunger is clean and it does operate. So, we can see that this operates now. It's, it's against the spring. So we can actually see that operating. And on your throttle body, this one's motorized, so it's fly-by-wire. And there's your butterfly valve. And you can hear the motor, the gears in the motor spinning. So we'll stick it back together, now it's all clean. Just a little one to note, there is a joint that goes on the stainless pipe that comes away from the exhaust. So the one that feeds the EGR, there's a gasket there. Mine's in very good condition. I've just cleaned it up with the green pad, like I did this, the joints, jointing surfaces. So that pipe needs cleaning up there. I think that's focused. So that pipe there is the one from the exhaust. And then the underside of the inlet manifold there, don't know if that's focusing, needs cleaning up as well. Okay, now I'm gonna start fitting the EGR valve. That goes in there. I'll just catch one bolt. There it is, that's the EGR in location. Now 
Then we put the other one around the back that the pipe's in the way of. It goes in there. You have to pull that pipe out of the way a bit. Yeah, there it goes. So you've got to be a little bit of flexibility on that pipe. You've got to bend him slightly, but obviously we're not talking about prizing it back. Just, just to ease it back. Right, so they're just loosely caught. And I've only caught them loosely because I've got this long one that passes through that we saw. We've got that long bolt that passes um, right through the right through the throttle body. They're not through, so I'll catch that now. And only then we can start tightening stuff up. Okay, I think something that I failed to show earlier on is that on the throttle body here, there's an O-ring that goes around, a black rubber O-ring. There's also one on the face of the EGR itself. When I examined them, they were proud of the casting, so they were they are thicker than the casting, and they are quite supple, so I'm gonna leave them. I'm happy to uh, refit those, I think they're okay. So, and now fit the throttle body. I'll just catch one, one bolt there. So it's that caught. I'll catch that long one around the back. And it's this long one that passes through both, both assemblies. Okay, that one around the back needs a bit of a peg to get in. I've just managed to get it caught, but it is a struggle. So he's now spun up there. That was quite difficult. Oh, hello. You've all gone for a walk. There we go. So I've got the front one on and I've got that long one around the back. And now it's the one up in behind the electrical plug there that I showed you when it was on the bench. Feed him on your extension with your socket. And then feed that up the back. It's just a matter of tightening everything up now. We're getting close. So we've got the Torx bits here, the three of them to do up on the throttle body, and then the three, oh sorry, the three on the EGR and the three on the throttle body. Um, I'm not going to uh, video that because it's just doing bolts up. Okay, for after 20 minutes of fighting with those bolts, the EGR and the throttle body are now secure. So we've got um, here the vacuum to go on again. So we just slide that on. That's nothing. Just presses on there like that. So now the only other thing we've got is the actual exhaust. So we've got the bolts there. And then the joint is somewhere. There's the joint. And then the joint goes between those two. So I did prize that. I did prize that exhaust pipe out of the way, the recirc pipe. So I'll have to just tweak that down. I'll put you on the stand while I mess around with this.
Okay, I come back the next day, the light was uh, faint, it was hard to record. So, there's the second bolt on there. And with the joint, with the joint in place there. So I'll just tighten them up. And put the electrical plug back on and the boost pipe and then I think we're there. I'm a firm nip. We want this to seal or else we're going to have an exhaust leak. <coughs> there he goes. So that's tight now. Down here we've got the electrical plug, the electrical connector. He connects onto there, onto here. You need to hear him snap in like that, hear him click in place. So we're just left with the the boost pipe now that comes from the intercooler. So I'll connect that up and we should be uh, ready to start him up. Okay, we just got this turbo pipe to connect now. I'll slid it up in there, you push him in, and then it was that spring clip that goes in that groove in there. So you slide him in and he latches in. So that's him. Try and force the pipe down. Yeah, so he's retained. I did have to unplug that plug again because that was in the way of that. So we'll replug him in. There he goes, he latched. So that's it. I think that's the job done. So we'll uh, give him a little fire up. I think we'll start him on. Turn that off on the uh, diagnostics, but uh, it's working, that's all that counts. Okay, back in the car now. I've got the diagnostics plugged in, still showing that fault, and I've got clear codes option down there. The engine management light is still on, so I'll try to clear the code. So now we've got none stored. So hopefully now, when we start up, the light trick away. So there we are. The light's gone out now. So hopefully it should stay out. Because of the air fuel to air ratio being uh, knocked out. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so there we go. We're at the end of the video. The car is now working. I had to clean out the throttle body and the EGR valve. Uh, this was caused by the fuel to air ratio being messed up because of the split boost pipe. So these two videos are closely tied in. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, if you could like, subscribe and share, that would be most appreciated. And I'll catch you next time.